Hey, this is Anthony F. MobileLove.info. <clears throat> and here we're doing a quick test comparison of Nokia's first touchscreen phone, the Nokia 5800, compared to now their latest touchscreen phone, the Nokia N8. See how uh, fast time has flown, about a year's difference. Nokia has jumped in with both feet with the all touch screen phones. I uh, first it off with the Nokia 5800, which was pretty, pretty, pretty um, incredible in its own right. Uh, Nokia's first touchscreen phone. Um, when I first got it, I was kind of disappointed because it's a smaller screen. It wasn't 3.5, it was like a 3.2 screen, and uh, it was thick. So I was thinking maybe it's, it did slide something, but it doesn't slide. And everybody that I give this phone to tries to make the phone slide, but nope, it does not slide. Uh, it does come with the Carl Zeiss lens. Uh, this one is 3.2 megapixel, kind of the low end Nokia wise, but still was pretty good for Nokia's first all touch screen. I did not have the latest uh, OS that. Um, the Nokia N95 or 90 or Mini 95 had uh, it was a step down, but it was still great in its own right when it first came out. Now today, of course, we have the Nokia N8, which is simply amazing. Uh, it kind of shares the same widgets that the N95 shared or N99, right? Uh, rather, but this is on another sub fork of a Simeon operating system. So they keep playing around, I guess, testing to see which works for them, basically. Uh, more vibrant screen. This is a 3.5 screen. Uh, you can see it's a huge difference in screen size. Uh, more vibrant. Um, one button, physical button, as opposed to the three buttons that the Nokia 5800 had. Of course, uh, neither one of these phones were for sale in the U.S. unless you bought it outright from the Nokia website. Excuse me, website. The Nokia 5800 had a smaller cousin, a cheaper cousin that T-Mobile did have for sale, uh, but more than likely they didn't do too well because nobody pushed it. So the Nokia N8, of course, is very sleek, very slick, as in the other. Um, video we know that it's uh, aluminum ionized has a Carl Zeiss lens the same as the other one it is Nokia uh, has a 12 megapixel camera which is incredible it's basically a professional camera it also comes with the dual camera it has the camera in the back and the camera in the front for video conversation but to show you how far advanced Nokia was because they, they've been doing that with almost all of their phones even the E-series had that see here that even this 5800 had a second camera so it's not anything too big for Nokia you know they were always doing that with dual cameras I uh, even had the quick the quick button here uh, you press that media button and it gave like a little shortcut here you have a chance to focus you get, your, get to your quickest things that you usually do, music, things of that sort. So that was cool. They dropped it for the Nokia N8 because this, this is a more refined professional device so it did not have that media shortcut button. But this is just a quick look at how far Nokia has come from their first touch screen, the Nokia 5800, to now their flagship Nokia N8. So that's Anthony F. Mobile love that info. Next we have uh, some more comparisons. Stay tuned.